living space is really small, but this deck is 300 square feet, if you can believe it. So I knew that we needed to use this space. So once it was all cleaned, I wanted to find furniture that looked like it belonged indoors, which is why I got this beautiful sectional. I got a fun rug, a boho inspired chair. I brought an indoor plant out and I got this beautiful table that sits six people so we can entertain all summer. And then this is probably my favorite part of the deck. This is a decor wall that you can eat. So I found these wall planter hangers, these beautiful pots, put my favorite herbs in them. This cost me under $50 and it just looks beautiful, but it's also functional. And then to finish this space off, I hung these beautiful retro lights all in the trees. They hang above the table. So at night, it feels like we're eating on a restaurant patio. Okay, the party's at Alexandra's. What a cute space. Alexandra joins us now uh, with more ideas. Give her some love. <laughs> Your area pretty. So what you do really well is you do um, spaces. They might be temporary. It might yes. be a rental space, but there's yes. no reason why it can't look absolutely gorgeous. It's so true. And on my patio, I mean, the first step is always cleaning your space, right? Right. I don't know if you saw in the um, befores, but the algae buildup was crazy on our deck. We actually have a picture of it. So we're going to show, it doesn't look that bad. I mean. But it was, it was a little bit on the dirty side and you wanted yes. to give it a good scrub down. We're also on the third floor, so we don't have a hose. We don't have right. water access. Right. So a really good deck cleaner like this Benjamin Moore one is great just to scrub off all that algae. Good. Um, if you do want hose access, I found this awesome product from Lee Valley. It attaches to your faucet in your kitchen and then you can string your hose out. Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness. I know. I wish I discovered that while we were primping the deck. But right? anyways. What a great idea. And then also from them is this broom. Now, I feel like a good broom is totally necessary for an yeah. outdoor space. The really cool thing about this one, it's made in Germany and it has a curved, it has like curved bristles. Yeah, I see that. So you kind of rake um, your so cool. patio. Yeah, so it acts like a rake and it gets into all those nooks and crannies. Yeah, that's a great, great idea. So yeah. it's, it's like the smallest thing that makes the biggest difference when you're out there. It's so true. Right? Trying to... Uh, clean it up. And then sometimes in a rental or a small space, like beautiful accessories is what makes it come all, come together. Yes. I am obsessed with this hose from Garden Glory. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even use it. No, me like, either. I just want to hang. Me I either. Just, I just want the pink <laughs> hose on my wall. Literally, I said the same thing. Right? She does these beautiful hose holders. And I just feel like even if you implement one change and it's this, yes. it's just going to feel so much more pretty. Totally. Right? And why not do the antlers for your for the hose hanger? You I know. know? And like, at, that's a beautiful look little. Look at the little. Oh, look at that. Right? It's yes. Cobra print. Can she also has a green that? one. That's actually totally intentional. There's a design on this hose. Yeah. It's beautiful. You'll actually want to clean your yard with that and yeah. water your plants. It's beautiful. And then space-saving things. So I get a lot of questions from people that are like, how do I store my bike? I live in a really small apartment. Where do I put it? Right. So investing in something that goes on your wall to store your bike is awesome. It right. takes the bike off the floor. This actually goes up when you're not using it. That's awesome. So it's just really compact. Yes. Um, and the bike just sits on it. Are you going to try it? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Throw it up there. off the floor it's against the wall yes. then you need to use it to get to work yeah take it off let me do this let me hold this take it off right and, and you're it's, good and then it just frees up all that space so you can actually use it and it's functional you can sit on your patio and enjoy it absolutely right? um another product that i have to show you is a renter friendly um pet door this is great if Isn't you have so a, a little, like a little dog? So they actually cat? come in multiple sizes, which is really great. Even the big Yeah, animals. so your dog, Ozzy, could totally okay. fit through these. Um, you basically sandwich it between your screen door. It keeps bugs out. And then there's a little flap at the bottom that it can go in and out of. So that's what the, keep hanging it. That's the gray flap at the bottom is what the uh, the pet can go in that's and out awesome. of. That's very smart. The best part about this is it also folds. So it's really easy to store when you're not using it. That's great. So great, right? Lovely. Especially in the hot weather, you want to make sure they have a way to come in and out, totally. right? Okay, so this is a cool little invention. Yeah, I have a question for you. Are yeah. you a good plant mom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a plant killer. Same. I'm a self-proclaimed plant Same. killer. So this is really awesome because it's a self-watering system. Oh. So you, I know. So you set it for every day, twice a day, um, let's say 30 seconds, a minute, yeah. and it just self-waters. I'm just turning it on manually right now to show you. That's amazing. You have a, you'd have a bucket of water. Yeah. 
And the coolest oh, thing about so this cool. is that if you've got a smart plug, yeah. so to work with your like Alexa or your Google Home, mm -hmm. you plug this in, you plug this system in, and you say, hey Google, water my plants, and I will water them for you. That's amazing! Isn't that awesome? And then you'll have no excuse I ever. was just going to say, you have no, no excuse. excuse ever for no. killing the plants, no. the herbs, the everything. None. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's great. Yeah. Um, the other thing you always have to think about is, is lighting. Yeah. And you've done a beautiful job here. I feel like we hear all the time, like, add string lights, and those are great. Yeah, they're but lovely. there's so many beautiful chandeliers that are on the market now for your outdoor space yes. to really make your outdoor space feel like a living room. Mm -hmm. So this one um, has a plug. Yep. But if you don't have an outlet, which a lot of rental balconies don't, I've come up with a hack, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Okay, so let's say you have this gorgeous pendant, yeah. but you have no plug. Yes, yeah, so you can actually just cut the hard wiring off of the top, put a little electrical tape around it yep. um, just to protect the wire, and then you want to invest in a $13 battery powered light bulb. So that just turns on. Just turns on. Like that. And then you hook it in your pendant. Look at that. You have a light. Right? Smart. So smart. smart. That is fabulous. Yes. Um, really, really good tricks. You always you. have them. Um, and thank you so much for bringing them our way. I got to get that. The self watering plant. There's no excuse. Right? No <laughs> excuse. Huge thank you to Canadian Tire uh, for this great chandelier as well.